again, my fellow musicians, aspiring musicians, fellow guitarists, aspiring guitarists. Again, my name is Lance Oscar Carr from Victoria, BC, Canada. I want to share with you the backing track to go with this Lava Guitar game uh, that I've founded and trademarked here. Um, I'm sharing this for educational purposes and watch out for the um, full course and all the all the different content you can get to cover all the strings, all the notes. Um, so this first one is going to be based on the E minor chord. We can think of pretty much any key, but thinking from the minor, it's much easier to approach all these cool scale or sounded in, uh, variations. So the first chord I'm going to play is this E minor chord, and it has three letters in it, blue letters. They would be E's, G's, or B's. So you can find those letters on your fretboard on that small string, but you can also find it in this chord that I'm going to play. I'm not going to show you right now, but that'll be in future material, but just understand that those are the letters I'm playing when I strum this chord, and that's why you match really well if you're going to noodle or improvise and play the EGB letters in blue. So here we go. We're going to do our first jam, and you're playing what's called the EG blue, EGB blue, like totally in smooth sounds just like this. I'm going to count to four and you just join and jam. One, two, three, four. So I'm playing an E minor chord. To a 60 beat a minute metronome. Whatever you play in blue, you should sound pretty in. There shouldn't be any tension. It's pretty smooth. Also doesn't make it super exciting, but that's okay. Now we know our in color, the blues. So you play E, G, and B. someone in your band playing the E minor chord. We could call that the E minor triad, the E minor arpeggio. They're just, to me, they're blue notes that are in the chord in E minor. That's all you really need to know. Let's try it one more time. So you play the E, G, and blue, no blue notes any way you want. You can mix them and match them, but try not to play any other notes because those are going to be considered lava, fiery notes that we want to avoid. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, go. All right, we're gonna add some more notes this time. E, G. So we skip the two fret. We're gonna go to the five fret, that's A. Six fret, that's our blues note, it's fiery. It sounds really tense. Usually you don't wanna stay on it unless you wanna sound tense. If you wanna get the tension to go away, you go to the blue note. You could also go to the green note, but the blue notes really lets the tension go. That's why we call it an in. Green is less in. The red is really, really, really out. But sometimes you don't like that cool out sound, but you can make sense if you finish it usually on an in like a blue. This note right here, fret 6, B flat, is called the blues note in music theory. So we often play it like this. Kind of slide through it as if it was hot lava. We were trying to jump through it, not get burnt by staying too long. You cool your finger off on a blue like water. That was just the blues note, fun. And the blues scale, E minor blues, which is E, blue G, green A, 
B flat blues note on six. Fret seven is the blue B. Fret 10 is the D. Fret 12 is the blue. Now there's a lot more in-depth materials. This is just a, a really brief introduction. We're gonna cover the whole fretboard and uh, better explanations of anything if, if you're finding this uh, complicated. Um, but this is a great starting point to, to get you going into what this whole game is all going to be about. Um, have fun. <laughs>